Hi friends, welcome back to Excel Map. This is Srinivas Reddy. In this video tutorial, now we'll discuss about uh, an important concept from the data tab is data validation. So what is the exact definition of data validation? It uh, prevents the invalid data from being entered into a cell. Prevents the invalid data from being entered into a cell. That means uh, it restrict uh, invalid data so just we'll say just i want to enter this range of values only or as i want to take this values only so just you have to declare there so the user can able to enter those values only so for this uh, shortcut is uh, alt dl shortcut of data validation is uh, alt dl we'll see now the data validation with examples now we'll see what is data validation, how it will work. See here, select cells from A1 to A5. See, just I'm selecting blank cells from A1 to A5. Go to data tab, go to data validation. See here, see there are settings, input message, error alert. So in the settings, validation criteria. See in the validation criteria, allow by default, it will be any value so that user can able to enter anything it may be text or numbers or formulas anything we can enter instead of that any value you can choose whole numbers decimals list date time text length custom so we'll see one by one first i'm selecting whole numbers whole numbers means the number without decimals it may be positive or negative positive or negative we can enter anything next to data the whole number between or not between equal to not equal to greater than less than greater than or equal to less than or equal to you can choose anyone now i'm selecting between so between minimum 10 and maximum is 100 now i'm restricting these cells from a1 to a5 to enter user between 10 to 100 that to be whole numbers now say okay now just enter 10 it will accept uh, like a uh, 15 uh, it will accept 125 see we'll get the error message microsoft excel the value you enter is not valid because a user has restricted because we given a range 10 to 100 only cancel we'll give till 100 10 uh, any number and outside you can enter any number because we selected only a1 to a5 only so in that only the restriction is working because there only we are able to enter 10 to 100 only now delete it again select from a1 to a5 go to data validation see you can give any range like 1 to 10 10 to 100 any range will give next you can write any message like pop-up message also you can give for the data validation cells go to input message you can say enter 10 to 100 only then okay see when i'm selecting the data validation cell you got this pop-up message there is i was given inside the data validation input message see if you are selecting outside that message will not come because just we given for this data validation range only next see here if you are giving anything wrong see you got the message so that is by default message given by the microsoft so instead of that you can enter you can able to write your own message so that again select the cells from a1 to a5 go to data validation there is error alert in the previous one just we given a message in the input message now we'll go for error alert see here you can write your own message title just I am giving like Excel map. See, you have entered invalid data. Please enter between 10 to 100 only. See, you can say like this. You can write some message. So what kind of message you want to display when the user giving wrong input? that kind of message you can write here then okay see in case if i'm giving anything wrong see excel map you have entered invalid data please enter between 10 to 100 only 
like uh, see uh, and in the error message also see retry retry see it is not allowing any time to enter invalid data you can say cancel otherwise you can choose you can choose this error style by default it will be stop only so instead of stop you can select a warning information so stop is the 100% security it gives 100% security for the data so at any cost it won't enter invalid data in case if you are selecting warning then okay see give anything wrong it's showing some message you are entering invalid data do you want to continue still or not if you say yes the data will store no it won't so like just 50 50 chances and uh, go to data validation this time you go for information information means just okay cancel there is no security for this so that will use stop only stop means at any cost it won't enter it won't accept invalid data so that's why we are taking stop see this is a settings in the settings you can select this process and input message and you can give the error alert in the error alert you can give the title name error message and you can select a stop warning information anyone's trial from this now if you don't want if you want to clear everything simply just you can click on clear all button see by default it becomes any value input message error alert everything will go on now i'm selecting clear all automatically it becomes any value now you can say okay now you are able to enter any value because now right now there is no data validation like uh, you can give in the data validation this uh, decimals decimals means points like 10.4 minus 2.3 and date uh, time or uh, text length text length means how many characters you want to enter like 10 to 20 or else greater than 5 less than 5 so between you can give any number of characters uh, so that is text length uh, now we'll say an important one uh, to creating the drop down list uh, so now we'll see how to create the drop down list uh, see first of all i'm taking months like uh, january to december select january drag till the december now select any one cell go to data validation all to dl shortcut uh, go to hello select the list list means to create the drop down list now go to the source you can select the range see so you can select the range in the sheet or else in other sheet in the same workbook now you can click ok see here so we'll get the drop down so this drop down is very important in the future we are going to use regularly this time just we are creating the drop down later while using the formulas when i'm selecting one month you will get that month data or else you will get month you will get that month chart so dynamically you can choose say like this you can create a drop down we'll go to the data validation select the list in the source you can select the range then you can say okay so by default you will get this drop down in case if i'm deleting this source data what happened yeah still there is drop down but there is no data inside this otherwise go to data validation instead of selecting the source range you can type manually by separating commas january comma february comma march comma april comma may comma june comma july comma august september october november december then you can say okay now instead of selecting you can type manually in the list in the source directly you can type by separating the commas so like this will create the drop down list so friends till now we did for the blank cells for empty cells only in case if there is a data already for example i am taking random numbers rand between 40 comma 100 see just select this select the range control plus d control plus or fill down fill right control plus d means fill down control plus r means fill right see just the range i'm taking 40 to 100 values now control c copy alt e s v paste values alt e s v paste values otherwise the values are updating keep on updating when you are doing anything modifications in the sheet it will refresh escape now there is a range 40 to 100 now go to data validation 
go to allow select whole number now i am giving range 50 to 100 see they will be taken 40 to 100 but now i am giving 50 to 100 only that means there are the values in between 40 to 50 are invalid values invalid data because just I am saying data validation, validity. So validation is 50 to 100 only. So these are the valid data. Remaining all are invalid. That is 40 to 50. Less than 50, more than 100. Okay. But already we entered the data. So how do you know whether it is valid or invalid? What are the invalid data? Then go to the data tab. Data validation. This triangle button. Then select a circle invalid data. Now we got the circles. Now we'll get the circles for the invalid data that is in between 40 to 50. Less than 50, more than 100, we'll get the circles. See that red circles, 46, 41, 48, 47, less than 50 only. 40 to 50 only, we'll get the circles. And the circles are maximum 250 circles we'll get in the data validation. For example, there are 300 invalid data, but for the first 250 invalid data only, we'll get the circles. And if you don't want these circles, if you want to remove these circles, go to data validation, clear validation circles and go to data validation. You can say clear all that complete data validation is going to remove. So like this friends, we'll use this data validation. It's very important concept in the Excel. We are going to use regularly in the many places. So in this video session, we discussed about what is data validation and how to give the numbers, so drop down, date, time and how to give the input message and error alerts and in that styles stop warning information then how to give the error message and title title messages also next how to create the drop down list next how to apply the data validation for the existing data thank you friends for watching this video 